Hi, my name is Mansoor. I am here to present the results of the individual interviews conducted with some of the participants of the Response of Fear program in the 2019-2020 academic year. We managed to interview 12 students who were enrolled in different courses offered through the program. 75% of them were males and 25% were females. Here are the courses they were enrolled in. 33.3% of them took CCST 903 Everyday Computing and the Internet, followed by 25% in CCHU 9022 Journey into Madness, 16.7% in CCGL 901 Hong Kong Cinema Through a Global Lens, UGFH 101 in Dialogue with Humanity, and CCCH 9020 Science and Technology Lessons from China. So the most of the students interviewed were from HKUST and CUHK, with each constituting 33.3% of the participants, along with 25% from PolyU and 8.3% from HKU. In terms of year of study, year 4 students were the majority with 33.3% participation rate, while an equal number of students from year 1, year 2, year 3, and year 5 decided to join the interviews. The level of diversity in the degree programs the interviewed students were enrolled in is high, as can be seen here. The main intention of the interview was to find out about the students' motivations behind participating in the Responsive Fee program. We have discovered that they had different reasons for joining this cross-institutional initiative, but they could still be summarized into these five main categories. The majority expressed that they had personal interest in the courses they chose to enroll in this program. The second most common reason was to gain a local academic exchange experience. Some found the Responsive Fee program as a way of taking a course that's not available at their home university, while others found the location of the university where the course was offered more convenient than their home university. Lastly, satisfying the general education or common core requirements was given as a motivation. A couple of the participants admitted that they had joined the program because they thought the courses they chose would be taught fully online. Prior to the interviews, the 12 participants had completed the pre-course online survey at the beginning of semester one. They were asked to rate the most common reasons for joining the Responsive Free program on a scale of one to five, one being strongly disagree and five being strongly agree. The most common reasons in the pre-course survey were from the findings of the focus group interviews conducted in the previous academic year. As can be seen, some of them were already mentioned by the 12 interview participants. The black bars indicate the most common ratings from the 12 interviewees for each of the reasons. You will see an explanation from one interview participant for the rating given to each of the reasons. The most common rating for the reason of the course offered being personally interesting to the participants was for or agree. An engineering student from HKU enrolled in UGFH 101 at CUHK said he usually didn't need to read text from the classics and that the course was a unique chance to find answers to such questions as what is good life and how to contribute to society. The next common reason being the exclusiveness or uniqueness of the course also mostly received the rating of 4 or agree. A comment from a female student from HKUST enrolled in CCGL 901 referred to the idea of connecting Hong Kong cinema with globalization as exclusive and not something available to study at her home university. The next reason was the unavailability of the same or similar course option at home university or elsewhere, which mostly received four, agree as well as five, strongly agree ratings. A male student from CHK explained that there was a similar elective about movies available at his home university, but since he wanted to simultaneously satisfy their general education or common core requirements, he decided to enroll in CCGL 9001. The next reason was about whether the course schedule was suitable or not. This factor received mostly mixed ratings from the participants, ranging from 4, agree, down to 2, disagree. It can be assumed that the participants had such diverse study schedules that some found their course schedule suitable, whereas some others didn't. 
An instance of the course schedule being unsuitable came from a CHK student enrolled in CCGL 9001 who wasn't aware of the course schedule when he enrolled. Therefore, he had to make changes to his other course schedules to be able to participate in the program. The reputation or ranking of the university as a factor received mostly four agree from the participants, which was self-explanatory. The Responsive for You program offers only the transfer of pass or fail results to participants' home university, which was commonly considered as a motivation as per the previous focus group interviews. However, among the 12 interviewees, it received mostly four, agree, as well as two, disagree. While the goal of those aiming to get a pass was clear, we needed an elaboration from those who disagreed on the pass or fail result being a reason. A PolyU student in CCHU 9022 explicated that since he had to put the same amount of effort as others to complete the course, he would prefer a letter grade to a pass or fail result. Location of the university where the course is offered was also considered a common reason. Among the participants, it mostly received five, strongly agree, and two, disagree. An HKUSC student in CCHU 9022 found HKU far to commit to, yet kept the course. The Responsive for You program was widely seen as a platform that offered a different learning experience from that of home university in the previous academic year. The interviewees for agree and five strongly agree ratings of the factor also supported those findings. A CUHK student in CCST 903 explained that it was an opportunity to understand his peers or future competitors better so that he could work with them in the future. By taking a course through the Responsive View program, students can satisfy their general education or common core requirements for graduation. However, this factor received mostly the rating of 3, neutral. A comment from an HKUST student in CCHU 9022 is, if this was his main goal, he wouldn't bother enrolling in a course at another university, but his home university. Participating in Responsive for You to spend time with friends at host university wasn't seen as a motivating factor among the interviewees. So was the reason for enrolling in a course related to one's discipline or major. In fact, the HKUSC student in CCHU 9022 said he chose the course because it was totally different from his discipline courses. In contrast, learning with peers from other universities was seen as a major motivating factor for the participants as they rated it as 4, agree, and 5, strongly agree, mostly. As all of the courses offered in the Responsive for You program involved blended learning, it was also included as a reason for participation. It mostly received 4, agree, and 3, neutral. While 4 was clear, neutral required explanations. As it turns out, those who gave 3 as a rating did not quite understand what blended learning was before the semester. In addition to their reasons for joining the Responsive for you program, we wanted to find out about the participants' expectations. The most common expectation was to gain a good understanding of the subject matter of the courses the students were enrolled in, collaborating, exchanging ideas and experiences, and networking with others were common among the students. This was along with the expectation of having a positive learning experience. It was also discovered that some expected to find out about the common teaching and learning strategies and methods at their host university. A couple of students expressed that they expected active in-class and online participation from host university students. It is also worth noting that transferable skills such as negotiating and communicating effectively were mentioned as an expectation. When it came to potential drawbacks that could have stopped the participants from joining the program, the course schedule was mentioned the most, followed by the amount of workload required in the course. The location of the host university and long commute time were also possible barriers. 
The participants also had concerns about getting access to certain host university facilities and whether their friends could join the program together with them or if they already had friends at the host university. We also wanted to study the importance of the responsive view program for the participants. For example, in terms of their learning styles, personal life and future career. The blended nature of the courses in the program was said to have influenced some of the students' learning strategies as explicated in these quotes. As the participants were actively interacting with their peers from other universities, they admitted that such group learning helped improve their interpersonal skills. As for the role of the Responsive View program in the participants' future career, there were mixed thoughts. Some saw no impact of the program experience whereas others were of the opinion that it would be a positive influence. The pass or fail result policy in the program drew both positive and negative opinions from the participants. The pros included learning without worrying about grades, freely choosing what topics to study in the course depending on the student's interest, and the security it provides when the student is at a different university and does not know what counts as high performance in the course. The cons were an inaccurate representation of one's academic performance in the course, lack of motivation to put effort into the course, no credit for one's hard work and effort or GPA. What is the value of a local exchange program like Responsive for You compared to an international exchange experience? The participants expressed that the main difference was that the responsive for you was more about exchanging academic experiences than cultures. Also, it presented no potential communication or language barrier compared to an exchange abroad. It was said that the education system and teaching and learning practices were similar, if not the same, no matter what university to study at in Hong Kong, while one could see a wide discrepancy abroad. Plus, this local exchange was found more affordable than an international exchange. The similarities were identified in having to adapt to a new learning environment, socializing and use of English as a medium of instruction. One participant noted that responsive for you could be a preparation for exchange abroad. Exclusive, unique courses, interesting subject matters, interactive teaching and learning, suitable schedules, Closed distance were argued as the reasons to join responsive for you again. If the courses offered were lecture-based or the host university was far, the participants would pass the offer. There could be some other external factors such as already met the graduation requirements that would prevent one from joining the program. One participant thought one semester was enough to get the full local exchange experience. The blended courses in the program involve the use of various education technologies. Among them, lecture videos, discussion forums, and a few others were the most favorite according to some of the interviewees. However, discussion forums weren't engaging or effective enough in others' view in addition to online polls and quizzes. The courses in Responsive for You were praised for effectively supporting peer learning among the students. Here are some of the comments from the interview participants. Finally, the participants were asked to share their opinions on why the Responsive for You program was initiated or what the purpose of it was. Many said it was to allow Hong Kong students to discover other universities' cultures and teaching and learning practices. It was also seen as a way of letting students enroll in courses not available at their home university. Responsive for you as a platform for students to establish better communication and exchange experiences was also expressed. Last but not least, it was seen as an opportunity to experience studying in a new environment and learning how to adapt to this challenge. So these were the results of the individual interviews conducted in semester one of the 2019 and 2020 academic year. That's all there is to it.